Team Ramrod. Part of it. Missing Billy. Billy will be with us later. But for now, the shenanigans from yesterday's tubing adventure is over. Back to the grind. Boys, back to the grind. I've been flying from town to town, from London to Taiwan. I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. We got to do our Monday list today, which isn't going to take us that long to do. Our bi-weekly monster property on the reservation. We don't have that this week, so. And we have a little lawn that I've been filling in on in the city of Niagara Falls that I dropped yesterday. So, the terms of this was the guy wanted me to mow it for about a month. He had back issues or something like that. He was trying to recover and he wanted me to mow for about a month. So I told him, okay, fine, I'll cover it. And uh, I normally don't mow residential properties in the city of Niagara Falls. It's just a ghetto. It's a crap hole and you get stuff stolen. And I have all the green touch racks now, but still, I just, I don't want to mess with it. So, um, besides they're tiny little properties and that they're just a pain in the butt to do. They so, it's just yeah, they, I mean, it's just, it's a mess. So anyway, I was doing this property for this guy and he left money in the mailbox for me every week, cash. And, uh, so... I was doing it, he wanted me to do it for about a month while he recovered from his back, whatever. So then uh, I did it for two weeks, and the third week he sends me a text the day before and says, um, you can't mow tomorrow, I'm having landscaping done in the front of my house and bush trimming and mulch and stuff. And I said, well, Monday's the only day I go to the city, so if I don't do it tomorrow, you have to wait till next week. And he said, well, how about you just come on Tuesday or Wednesday then, that'll work for me. And I said, I don't think you understand how this works. I said, I'm only in the city one day a week. I don't go there. Um, so, you know, it, it's Monday or nothing. And so then he says, he texts me back. He says, what time do you think you'll be there? And I said, I don't know, before 11. And he goes, can you give me a window like, you know, between 10 and 11 or between 9 and 10? And I said, no, I can't. I said, it's, I'll be there before 11. And uh, he said, okay, that'll work out. And Monday morning comes about nine o'clock and he texts me and I only have one more property to go before I got there and he texts me and says uh, you know don't come today they're already here they're doing the landscape I'm like okay fine so I don't do it then I go and I cut the following week and then that would bring us to this week here and he texts me yesterday and said uh, don't cut tomorrow um, I, I went out there and I cut it. It was no big deal. I cut it myself. Um, so it really doesn't need it. And uh, we'll pick up again next week. But I texted him back and I said, uh, I said, well, I picked up more properties in a regular year round accounts. I said, and I was going to message you anyway. I said, I really can't cover your property anymore. I said, and with it being hit and miss and sporadic like this, I can't just, you know, throw it in wherever. You know, I have to stick to my schedule. And so he texts back and he says, okay. And I said, well, thank you for the work you've given us. We appreciate it. I said, but, uh, you know, this is where you're going to have to find somebody else or else just maintain it yourself. And he just wrote back again, okay. So I left it there. It was a pain in the butt and I don't want to do it. But it's Monday morning and we're headed to the Chupacabra house.
So we started mowing and I had such a long weekend of camping and then went out to dinner with Spencer from Bow Enterprises because you got to feed that kid to keep him happy. That's how it works. Um, but anyway, he did order mushrooms. He wanted mushrooms on the side to go on top of his prime rib sauteed mushrooms and they brought out this oval shaped dish like that. That dish of mushrooms was $7.50. I was like, and he only used like a quarter of them. He put a few on there. He had like three quarters left. So we got it in a to-go container and I pulled out a Sharpie and I wrote Buddy Dan on it. And I put a couple hearts. I said, take it home and put it in the fridge for Buddy Dan. But, uh, but yeah, so I never did the grocery shop and the wife and I usually do on Sundays to prep for the week. So I couldn't pack a lunch for today. And now I'm starving. So, so does that mean no gym later? You gotta go grocery shopping? No, I don't know about that. So we pulled <laughs> into uh, Timmy's here and we sent old Connor in to get us loaded breakfast wraps. And then we will carry on to the next property. Sounds like a plan. Connor's the loaded breakfast wrap guy. But we had to text him the order because he couldn't remember two loaded breakfast wraps. He's, He's special. Yeah. Hey, does everybody like our new cooler? Because the other one wouldn't hold ice. Power chute design. That's right. Because everything we have is power chute. Nothing but the best? What? Nothing but the best? Yes, sir. That's right.
So we got a bunch of tools to unload here from the hedge trimming job we did that we did not film. We did take like four different cameras with us and that was that. We didn't film anything. But we got all our mowing done. We got all the hedge trimming done. Tomorrow's another day of mowing. And all that stuff in there is from another story. That is a cold bottle of water. Nice. <coughs> Your delivery is here, sir. Yeah, yeah. Restock the fridge, minions. Max and I will move out of your way. We don't want to. Whoa. Well, Conway, what are you breaking everything for? We don't want it here. Get yeah, we don't want to interrupt work in progress here. Is this camera on? Yeah, it's on. It is on. Hello. We got Billy and Conrad. Restocking the refrigerator. Max isn't in camera. Camera cuts off right over here. That, Max is sitting over there, soaking wet and sweat. Enjoying <coughs> a cold bottle of water. Well, we need more something in this fridge. His road stuff at the boss, he signs the paychecks. Ah, son of a puppy What's dog. What's your profanity? Puppy dog, I said This is a family channel. Are both these bars going in there? I used to be a volleyball pro <laughs> star. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why you played volleyball. Pro star. Pro <laughs> star. How many know pro star is a thing? Pro star thing? I don't know. World star is. I'm a world star. Yeah, you're a world star. You're a world class Jamoke, is what you are. Jamoke? Oh no, we're gonna have people now. Why do you talk that way to your son? <laughs> oh my goodness, Lord <laughs> have mercy. Ah, oh, dude, I don't know if you guys caught it. Somebody commented on a video the other day that Billy was That's laying like some solid stripes in. This video was like a year and a half old, two years old, something like that. Solid stripes, right? And uh, they commented, they're like, man, he can't, he can't do straight lines for nothing. I don't know why you let him do that. He can't even, he can't even put down straight lines. And I'm thinking, you know what? It's probably one of them properties that on camera looks smooth as glass, but it's bumpy as hell. Yeah. So I go back in to look at it and see what the heck they're talking about. See what property it is, because obviously I know all my properties. And it was a property that is a little bumpy, not too bad. Um, but I'm looking at the footage, and the lines were straight. Like, I'm talking, like, straight. Laser he did Yeah, like, straight laser beams. And he didn't have any squiggles or nothing. I'm like, this dude's just talking crap, right? I'm like, this, he's not. So I commented back. I said, well, oh. if he did his lines with a razor blade like you do yours, maybe they'd be a little straighter. <laughs> I don't think he caught on to my reference. <laughs> uh. You uh, how do you do your lines to make them so straight? <laughs> <laughs> Family channel. Oh, <laughs> I get it now. Uh, yeah, it took you a minute, Billy. It's okay. You that was it. my reference. If he did his lines with a razor blade like you do yours, but uh. Billy, yeah, he uh, he didn't comment after that. I don't know if he just didn't see it or what. It was like Saturday morning or something. I woke up and that mass dip comment was on there. I'm like, yeah, okay. Okay, buddy. Well, anyway, that's the end of our video today. We are signing off. Tomorrow's another day. Time we just got mowing. Me. We just got mowing the rest of the week. The weather's looking like it's going to hold out for us. It's going to be a good week, except for... Thursday and Friday after mowing, we have a jungle that we have to tackle for a friend that he cannot handle it by himself. It is pretty bad. There's stuff that needs pulled out. There's most of it's just stuff that needs cut down, trimmed, hacked down. It's going to be a mess. But we're going to tackle a little bit of it Thursday after mowing and a little bit of it Friday after mowing. And we'll easily get it done in two days. Um, doing it in the afternoons. We could do it all one day, but we're just not going to. But Thursday and Friday, I think, is supposed to be in the 70s. So it's the cooler two days of the week. So we're going to do it those two days. And uh, yeah, so that's the plan. So Conrad, you're working Thursday and Friday. 
that good? <laughs> All right. Uh, that means you're working Thursday and Friday too, Billy. You work every Friday, but Thursday after you get out of summer school for the day, yep. yes, then you'll come and work with us. And uh, yeah, that'll be that. So anyway, if any of you guys didn't watch that video from yesterday, it's a uh, long care boys take a water adventure or something like that. You should definitely check it out. Um, Billy launches me out in the middle of the water and sends me down the river packing. And, uh, <laughs> but anyway, we got a little out of control. We got further along than we thought we were going to. And, it's a little uh, nature walk. I noticed on camera it didn't look like it was really that bad, but uh, it was bad. Yeah, it's bad. It was pretty bad. It was that water was moving fast, but uh, it was pretty crazy. So go check that out if you haven't. And uh, tomorrow will be another day. So we're gonna end this right here. What are you doing, Jeez. Billy? If you keep your feet up on the edge like that, you're gonna fall over. See? I told you. <laughs> hey, listen.